uh, my name is John Joseph. Uh, today I'll be uh, showing you how addition works in the simplest way. If you're a parent and um, if you um, if you want to teach your child how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, and fractions, I recommend you to watch this video. And if you're a teacher and you want to uh, improve your math skills, I also recommend you to watch the video. Um, every time I go to a first grade class, I always ask this question. Is it a big number or a small number, 5 and 4? And they always respond, of course, it is a small number. And everybody's going to do this and say, oh, it's a small number, Mr. John. Until I expose all the numbers and I ask them the same question. Is it a big number or a small number? And now they're going to say, oh, Mr. John, you just hear them say, like, ooh, yeah, it is a big number. And first graders, uh, they get easily spooked. And they always say, like, oh, Mr. John, that's, what is that? Like, oh, that's million plus million. Like, what? Okay. But here we go again. Then I'm going to start covering. And then I'm going to ask them the question again. Is it a big number or a small number? And this time they said, oh, it's a small number, Mr. John. But a few of them will say, oh, it's a big number. Yeah. When I open it, they know that because I open it and they, they saw it. And it was a big number, but I have to convince them. Uh, it's a challenge, you know, you got to convince them that no matter how big the number is, it will become a small number. And if you could convince them that, and if they understand the simplest um, form in numbers, that big numbers are composed of small numbers bound together. If they can understand that, then uh, we have won. I mean, we have succeeded. So, if um, you can understand that big numbers is scary, it's a scary number. And then when I was growing up, it was scary. I got scared of big numbers. And um, when we uh, convince them it's not, then we will uh, uh, succeed of teaching them uh, the basic math. And now let's start over here. So five plus four, and. When you ask them 5 plus 4, they always said it's 9. And what is 6 plus 2? 8. What is 9 plus 6? 15. Um, we call that speed math and family facts. And every time we introduce that, um, half of the class will um, get confused and they stop listening. And I don't want to do that. You know, I, I want my the whole class to listen to me. So basically what I do is 100%. All of them should understand me every time I go to a classroom. So I try to avoid speed math and family facts to begin with. But that will be the later part. The moment they start solving, if I'm the teacher in the classroom, I start when they start solving, two, three months after, I'll show them, oh, you know what, class? This is what is 6 plus 6? 12. We'll, we'll, I'm going to show them how speed map works. But from now on, let's start slow. So 5 plus 4 is 5 plus 4, that's your chain, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Be sure it's in line. Next is 6 plus 2 is 6 plus 2, 6, 7, 8. 6, 7, 8. Three plus two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. And we put a comma. Be sure everything is still online. If we don't do that, they're going to get confused. So be sure it's online. Two plus zero is two plus zero. Now, zero is like a cloud. A uh, cloud, there's nothing on it. So the two is just going to drop down. So 2 is going to drop down. So 0 is a cloud. So we'll just drop down 2.
and 4 plus 3 is 4 plus 3 we should we start with 0 in our finger right 4 plus 3 4 5 6 7 4 5 6 7 7 plus 1, 7, 8. Next, a comma. And our last number is 5 plus 4, so 5 plus 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And there we go. And to the surprise of my uh, students in the on first graders, they can't even believe it, they've done it. So everybody's going to do it in the class. Um, by the way, we're not teaching them how to read millions. We have to understand there they are only they are first graders, and I don't think they need to know how to read millions. Right now, we're just showing them that a big number are composed of small numbers. So when we start covering, it becomes a small number. Um, so um, the next lesson will be, um, if you go to 2 of 4, the next lesson, the next video will be um, doing the addition. So I would recommend you to go there first before you start teaching your um, child. Um, go over there, so, um, it will give you more information about what to do. So I'll see you then. Thank you.